Let's face it, when it comes to relationships, love doesn't fix everything. Compatibility is a big part of what makes a relationship work long term. And while love and hard work can help a lot, incompatible personalities are a hard hurdle to overcome. This isn't to say you should never date someone you're not 100% compatible with, but rather that if you're dating someone whose personality doesn't match yours, you should be prepared for rough waters. Of course, every person is different, and their zodiac sign won't determine everything about their compatibility with you. But here are a few zodiac couples whose personalities rarely match. Starting with Aries and Virgo Aries and Virgo have a complicated relationship where the things they admire the most about each other are the things that also drive them crazy in a relationship. Virgo admires Aries' confidence and straightforwardness, but their impulsivity is considerably less endearing. Likewise, while Virgo say that they love Aries' blunt personality, they can't stand it when that bluntness is directed their way. On the other hand, while Aries admires Virgo's observational skills and ability to solve any problem, they find their overthinking and overbearing personalities more than a little annoying. Next, Pisces and Capricorn. These two couldn't be more different if they tried. While Pisces loves to daydream and plan a variety of things they might or might not hope to achieve, Capricorns are logical thinkers who prefer to always take action. A regular interaction between these two is Pisces sharing a planned fantasy of theirs and Capricorn shooting it down with logic in an attempt at being helpful. These two aren't entirely incompatible, though, as Pisces' more tempered and welcoming personalities mesh well with Capricorn's more protective and ambitious one. But it's a relationship that needs a lot of open communication and probably couples therapy. Next, Taurus and Scorpio. On the surface, these two have a lot of things in common, so they should be great together. However, they're both tremendously possessive, jealous, and stubborn, and this is where the problems arise. While Scorpios generally tolerate jealousy from their partners, Tauruses rarely do, and they'd immediately push back against this kind of behavior. When that happens, Scorpio will push back, and Taurus being a Taurus, they'll push back even harder. This means that this couple has a tendency to turn even the smallest of disagreements into week-long arguments. And while they may love each other very much, there's no way that's healthy in a relationship. Next, Aquarius and Sagittarius. On paper, these two are ideal matches, as both love to meet new people and have new experiences. In reality, while they may have very similar interests, they're fundamentally different when it comes to romantic relationships. While Aquarians tend to be selfish and always give and give to their partners, Sagittarians tend to be more selfish and look out for themselves. This has the potential to end very badly, as Aquarius will always sacrifice more for Sagittarius than the other way around. A relationship with these two may work well superficially, but under the hood, there will be a lot of resentment from Aquarius the longer the relationship goes on. Next, Capricorn and Cancer. Capricorn and Cancer have many things in common like their love for family and their need for a place to call home. They work well together in superficial ways and cohabitation comes naturally to these two. Things start to go wrong in the emotional department, however, as Capricorn's closed-off personalities make Cancer feel like they're being pushed away. Cancers are very emotional and sensitive, and while Capricorn doesn't mind that aspect of their partner, they find it incredibly hard to be vulnerable in return. This is the kind of relationship in which both partners feel like they're failing the other even when they love each other very much. Next. Gemini and Aquarius. Free-loving and intellectual, you'd think these two could be easy soulmates, and yet that couldn't be further from the truth. Sure, 
This is a fun relationship and both parties will enjoy each other's company. But when it comes to deepening their bonds into something more long-lasting, these two tend to struggle. For starters, Geminis are known for being inconsistent, while Aquarians are known for being unpredictable, which means that they're never entirely sure where they stand with each other. More importantly, Gemini is only really comfortable in a relationship when they feel like the other partner is giving themselves completely, and that's something Aquarius struggles with even on the best of days. Next, Sagittarius and Libra. Outgoing and friendly, Sagittarius and Libra make for great friends and even romantic partners, at least at first. The biggest problem in a Sagittarius and Libra relationship is that both abhor conflict and will go out of their way to avoid having to discuss the things in the relationship that aren't working for them, which in turn breeds resentment and anger. The ways in which these two are mismatched are also a problem, as Sagittarians tend to value their independence, while Libras are often very dependent on others. So, it's not uncommon for one party to feel overwhelmed while the other feels abandoned. Next, Virgo and Aquarius. Virgo and Aquarius have a fundamentally different perspective of life and society, which makes a relationship between these two very difficult. Virgos care a lot about what people think while Aquarians couldn't care less if they tried. Virgos want security and stability, while Aquarius prefers adventure and risk. They tend to frustrate each other even if there is love involved, and while they can be great friends, a romantic relationship can be pretty challenging. Next, Scorpio and Leo. While these two have the potential to become a power couple, they need a lot of communication and patience to make it work. Leos love being the center of attention, which can frustrate Scorpio greatly as they prefer to stay away from the limelight. Scorpios are also very jealous individuals and will dislike not only how people tend to flock towards Leo, but how eagerly Leo welcomes the attention. Both also have very dominant personalities and will expect the other party to submit. So, if they want to make a relationship work, they'll need to learn how to compromise. Next, Libra and Pisces. It's not that these two don't work well together, it's that these two rarely manage to last past the honeymoon stage of their relationship. They're both romantic at heart, who insist on seeing the best in others, so they'll both put each other on a pedestal, treating them as the best person in the world. Of course, seeing someone as who you think they are rather than who they really are is problematic. So when the rose-tinted glasses fall off and both Libra and Pisces realize their partner isn't as perfect as they once thought, their relationship tends to end. The good news is that this doesn't have to be the case. If these two work out their problems and accept each other as they are, they can have a very happy and long-lasting relationship reality and all.